Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to introduce our recent work, Neural Accelerated Architecture Search. My name is Yu Jun Li, and I am a PhD student at MIT. As the rapid development and deployment of deep learning, accelerating deep learning computing has received lots of interest. Both neural architecture and accelerated architecture design are important to enable the specialization and acceleration of deep learning applications. Given the huge design space, data-driven approach is desirable, where a new architecture design evolves as new designs and rewards are collected. Both hardware-aware neural architecture search and auto-compiler optimization are typical examples of data-driven approaches. However, this work only focuses on the off-the-shelf hardware and neglect the freedom in the hardware design space. Neural architecture and accelerated architecture co-design covers three aspects, designing the neural network, designing the accelerator, and designing the compiler that maps the model on the accelerator. Therefore, the overall design space can be categorized into three classes, accelerator space, including buffer sizes and array sizes, compiler space, including loop orders and tiling sizes, and neural network space, including the number of layers, the number of channels, and the kernel sizes. These design parameters deeply entangled with each other. As the table shows, the correlation between neural and accelerator architecture is complicated and varies from accelerator to accelerator. For instance, child input channels should be the multiples of the number of rows of the computer array in NVIDIA Way, while the number of rows is related to the kernel size in IRIS. A tuple of perfectly matched neural architecture accelerated architecture and mapping strategy will improve the utilization of the computer array and on-chip memory, maximizing efficiency and performance. Given the large design space, it is challenging to achieve holistic optimization by human design. We propose the Neural Accelerated Architecture Search, NAS. For a specific workload, the Accelerated Architecture Search and NAS are conducted in one optimization loop to get tailored hardware and tailored neural network. We first look into accelerator architecture design space. It can be categorized into two classes, architectural sizing, such as the number of PEs and buffer size, and connectivity parameters, such as array dimensions and inter-PE connections. Existing framework usually focuses on the architectural sizing, which are numerical values and can be easily embedded into vectors. On the other hand, P connectivity is difficult to be encoded as vectors. Moreover, changing the connectivity requires redesigning the compiler mapping strategies. Therefore, our first step is to search accelerator design and compiler mapping at the same time. But how to embed these dimensions as vectors? We first investigate the loop nest of convolution, which can be divided into two parts, temporal mapping and spatial mapping. Loop tiling and loop order is reflected in the temporal mapping, and the spatial mapping can be inferred from the parameter. Here, the PE connectivity can be modeled as the choice of parallelism. For example, two parallel dimensions indicate a 2D array. Parallelism in input channels means a reduction connection of the partial sum accumulation register inside each PE. Parallelism in output channels means a broadcast to input feature register inside each PE. The selection of dimensions and loop ordering can be represented by the predefined index value. Hence, P connectivity can be represented by limited number of numerical values. Hardware encoding vector contains two parts, architectural sizing and connectivity parameters. And the mapping encoding vector contains multiple parts, including loop orders of PE level, and loop tiling for the array dimension level. After embedding the accelerated design and compiler strategy into vectors, we can apply machine learning algorithms to automatically search the architecture. Here, we choose the CMA evolution strategy algorithm. We first random sample accelerator candidates based on the normal distribution to form a population. Each accelerator candidate and neural network benchmark determine its unique mapping search space. We randomly sample the mappings based on the normal distribution 
similar to the accelerator architecture search. A pair of mapping candidate and hardware candidate is then fed into hardware evaluation backend to get the energy delay product as a reward. Here we use Miastro as our evaluation backend. It is easy to generalize to other backends too. For example, we are going to support time loop soon. We then select the best mapping fits according to the EDP rewards and update the mean and variance of the sample normal distribution to increase the likelihood near the best fits. We then repeat the sample evaluation, selection, update distribution process. When reaching the predefined efforts, the final best mapping for the given accelerator candidates will survive. The energy delay product reward is then used to select the best accelerator fits in the accelerator population. We similarly update the accelerator sample distribution to increase the likelihood around the best accelerator fits. We then repeat sample accelerator, find the best mapping for the accelerator candidates, select the best accelerator fits, update the sample distribution process. Finally, we will get the best accelerator design and its corresponding mapping strategy. However, there are non-numerical design parameters in our research space, including parallel dimension selection and loop ordering. During the experiment, we found that using index to directly encode the parallel dimension and loop orders does not work well. It is because that the increment and the decrement of the indexes does not convey any physical information. To solve this problem, we propose the important based encoding method. We first fix the dimension position in the vector. For example, the first value represents the k dimension here, and the second value represents the c dimension, etc. During the sampling, each dimension is assigned with an importance value by the optimizer. For example, for parallel dimension selection, optimizer gives k dimension with an importance of four and c dimensions of importance of six. We then sort the importance value in decreasing order. For parallel dimension selection, we use the first k dimension in the hardware encoding vector as the parallel dimension as a KD compute array. Here, dimension C and K have the largest importance, and thus they are chosen as the parallel dimensions of a 2D computer array. For loop ordering, the dimensions with the highest importance in the mapping encoding vector will become the outermost loop, while the one with the lowest importance will be placed at the innermost in the loop nest. Along with other information in the embedding vectors, we can construct the computation loop nest. This strategy is interpretable since the importance value represents the data locality of the dimension. The dimension labeled as the most important has the best data locality since it is the outermost loop, while the dimension labeled as the least important has the poorest data locality, therefore it is the innermost loop. We evaluate an AS with four hardware resource constraints, HTBU, a video array, a RIS, and Shidiana on two sets of CNN benchmarks, including classic large scale networks such as VGG16 and ResNet50, and lightweight mobile networks such as MobileNet V2 and SqueezeNet. As learning curve shows, the average energy delay product of candidates' pools is decreasing during the NAS optimization, while it stays high in the random search baseline. NAS gradually improves the quality of the accelerated candidates. Compared to searching the architectural sizing only, searching the connectivity and mappings at the same time achieves much better energy delay production. Furthermore, our NAS is able to consistently offer better solution within different hardware resources for different neural network benchmarks, providing up to 16 times speed up and six times energy savings. Thanks to the low search cost, we can integrate our framework with neural architecture search to achieve neural accelerator compiler co-design. First, NAS generates a pool of accelerator design candidates by random sample based on the sample distribution as before. For each accelerator candidate, we sample a network candidate from NAS framework, which satisfies the predefined accuracy requirement. 
since each subnet of one's four network is well chained, the accuracy evaluation is fast. These network candidates will become the benchmark for NAS framework. Afterwards, for each network candidate, NAS will search the mappings to obtain the best energy delay product. Finally, the NAS will update the optimizer using the energy delay product reward of each pair of accelerated network candidates. In the evaluation of NAS integrated with NAS, the design space of NAS contains three width multiplier triggers, 18 residual blocks at maximum, three reduction ratios in each residual block and a fine grain input image size choices. There are 10 to the 13 possible network candidates in our design space. Co searching the accelerator design compiler mapping and neural network, we are able to achieve four times energy delay product improvement while providing 2.7% accuracy improvement. The final hardware data flow design prioritizes the output height and output channel dimension, which is very different from the classical Shidiana. NVIDIA way, TPU and Iris architecture design. Furthermore, compared to previous work NASIC, which searches architecture sizing only, our NAS not only provides better accelerated design, but also requires less searching cost. Influencing the same network searched by NASIC, NAS outperforms NASIC by 1.8 times energy delay product improvement. As a conservative estimation, NAS saves more than 120 times the search cost compared to NASIC or ImageNet. To sum up, design space of hardware compiler and neural networks are tightly entangled. Joint optimization is better than separate optimization. We should optimize both numerical parameters and non-numerical parameters, such as P, connectivity, and loop order. Important based encoding helps optimize non-numerical parameters. Our NAS offers a one-button solution to co-designing the neural networks, accelerator hardware, and mapping strategies. For more information, please visit our website at tinyml.mit.edu. Thank you so much for listening.